Hello and welcome to Elif's Kitchen. Today I'd like to share my very practical and very delicious steam kebab recipe. Let's get started. Firstly, take about 3-4 tablespoons of oil into the pan. Let's add one small chopped onion and saute for a few minutes. Let's add approximately 1 kg of chicken cutlets chopped into cubes. You can also make it with chicken breast. Let's saute for a few minutes over high heat. Now I'm adding 1 chopped large red copia pepper and continue to saute. Let's add 1 tablespoon of tomato paste. Let's continue to stir it on high fire. I peeled two medium-sized tomatoes and chopped them into cubes. Let's add it. I saute for a few more minutes. Now I am adding a small jar of garnish that I have drained. I am adding enough salt, black pepper and chili pepper. I mix them all by adding half a cup of water. I will cook over medium heat for about 5 minutes until it absorbs all the juice. Now let's take the chicken into the large square pyrex. Meanwhile, let's prepare the bergamot sauce. We melt about 3 tablespoons of butter and add 3 tablespoons of flour and fry it for a few minutes until the smell of the flour comes out. Let's add 3 cups of milk on it, but add it gradually, so that there is no lumping. Please stir constantly. Let's add enough salt and black pepper and take it from the stove. See, the consistency should be that way. If it's thick, you can add some more milk on it. Let's spread the bechamel sauce on the chicken. Now I will sprinkle about a bowl of grated cheddar cheese on it. And I will bake it in the oven heated to 190 degrees until the cheese is melted and lightly browned. After taking it from the oven, let's wait 10 minutes for the first heat to come out. I will then slice it to the size we want. You can serve it hot with rice. The very tasty steam kebab is ready for service. I hope you guys will try and like it too. I'm waiting for your likes and comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thank you for watching my video.